Cardi B, you are something else. Yeah. I think Cardi, I'm going to give you some advice. Politics, I don't think it's your thing, man. I think you should just shut up and rap. <laughs> rap and strip. That's your thing. That's yeah. what you're, you're gifted. You should stick to stripping, taking your clothes off for men. Yeah. And rapping. Just stick to that. You should, is, you should stick to sexualizing women. Yeah, stick to that. Stripping and rapping. That's your thing, man. Politics? I don't even know how you worked this out. How the hell did you sit get a sit down with yeah. Joe Biden? Yeah, I'm confused. How does a woman who used to be a stripper who's now a rapper yeah. who once bragged about drugging and robbing men, yeah. how do you get to interview somebody that's running for president? I mean, I wouldn't call that type of person an intellectual. Yeah, you, Biden should have intellectuals interviewing him like us. Yeah. We'll ask them tough questions. Yeah, like Fox News. Somebody with some brains. What are you doing? I mean, this don't even make sense. This is like Donald Trump sitting down with R. Kelly. <laughs> I mean, that shit shouldn't happen. How the hell did you work this out? You got one hell of an agent. I'll tell you why this happened. Tell A Democrat me. to get votes, mm -hmm. he can't. He or she cannot sit and talk about policies because they have no policies. Yeah. All their policies are horrible. Yeah. They got to go after stupid people. Yeah. And Cardi, you got a lot of, I wouldn't say stupid would be nice. Yeah. I would say ignorant voters. You got 70 million people following you. Yeah. And if they're following you, they got to be ignorant. Yeah. Because you bragged about robbing and drugging people. Yeah. So... I'm going to show y'all a brief clip of the video. It was hey. like 17, 18 minutes long. I'm not going to show you all that. I'm just yeah. going to show y'all the gist so y'all have a gist of what happened. <laughs> it's complete garbage. Yeah, if you watch that whole video, man, you're going to lose some brain cells. You're going to jump out of a window. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to jump out in front of traffic. First thing first, let me give it a bug. I just want Trump out. You know what I'm saying? I, of course, want free Medicare. And this is why it's important to have free Medicare, because look, look, look what's happening right now. You see why we should have been having free Medicare for a long time. I, of course, think that we need a uh, free college education. That's second. And I want black people to stop getting killed and no justice for it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I just want more stricter laws that is fair to black citizens. And you know, it's fair for cops too. If you kill somebody that is that doesn't have a weapon on them, you go to jail. You know what? If I kill somebody, I gotta go to jail. You gotta go to jail too. What, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Somebody please explain that to me. Is that what the hip kids are doing nowadays? <laughs> I think that's a, what do you call it, a tick? I don't know what the hell it is. You talking about you want to see black people stop dying? How can the president of the United States stop black people from dying? Cardi, the president of the United States can't even stop white people from dying. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How, how you, how you going to legislate hate out of somebody's heart, yeah. man? Hey, Cardi, did you know murder is banned, right? <laughs> yeah. Still happens, even though you got the laws. So <laughs> how's <laughs> so how's the president going to stop black people from dying? I know how black people stop dying. Tell them to stop killing each other. <laughs> Tell them to, uh, when they get interact with a police officer, don't punch the cop in the face. <laughs> <laughs> don't take his taser. <laughs> Don't try to take his gun. <laughs> Tell him not to resist the rest. <laughs> That's what we do and it's always worked for us. And you said something else to us. About stricter laws. Yeah, what you said? Them laws you talking about, that don't sound like stricter laws. That sound like communism. Yeah, what she said? You mean to tell me if an unarmed man dies because he was shot and killed, that person who has the gun has to go to jail? Yeah. So let me get this straight there, Cardi. A man breaks into your house, tries to get some of that wet whopper of yours. <laughs> you shoot and kill him. You go to jail. Wrap your head around that. Yeah. <laughs> 
You know what? Please. Just because just because an unarmed person is shot dead doesn't mean the shooting was not justified. Carl. Yeah, because everybody' lives matters. Whether they're a cop, they're yeah. black, they're white, they can defend their life if their life is in danger. So if you don't want to get killed by a white police officer, stop putting that police officer's life in danger. And another thing she said, Freak. she <laughs> she she wants laws. She wants more laws that's fair to everybody. Ne to, she wants laws that's fair to black people. Name one law <laughs> that's not fair to everybody. Yeah. Name me one law that is not fair to black people. Just one. We'll wait. Brr. We're going to be waiting all day because all laws are equal and fair to everybody. All laws are written not based on people's <laughs> skin color. It's, but it's, it's written based on what's right and wrong. Anybody that starts off an interview and says, I just want Trump out of there, you should not be doing, you should not be interviewing anybody, yeah. especially in the, when it's regarding politics. Yeah. You should just stick to stripping and rapping. Brr. Amazing, man. This whole interview was just disgusting. It just shows you how the left will go stoop very low for a vote, man. They will do anything for a vote. They know they can't talk on policy. Yeah, Democrats haven't figured out. If you want more votes, listen to the American people what they want. You don't yeah. pander to them. Yeah, so Democrats go to Cardi B because they know she's got yeah. 70 million fans yeah. on Facebook. I mean on Instagram. Yeah. On social media, she's got hundreds of millions. Let's go talk to her fans. And because I come off and tell them, oh, I'm a big fan. He has his sister there. Oh, she's a big fan. Joe Biden's <laughs> daughter ain't listening to Cardi B. <laughs> he's lying to you. He's just lying Car and pandering. So he's trying to get Cardi B's fans to go vote for his stupid policy. Cardi, you say you want free college. And she want free college and free health care. Have you ever gave any of your tickets away for free? Any. Put your money where your mouth is. You want free college, free health care. Have you gave your fans free tickets? Or give all your fans free tickets? And you want everybody to have free health care? Yeah. Free insurance? Won't you give everybody free tickets to all your concerts? Yeah. Since you like giving away a bunch of free shit. Yeah, the whole world evolves around money, unfortunately. And it's like, um, I was going to say something. I totally lost it. It's going to come back to me. <laughs> But it's like, okay, it just came back to me, everybody. Like, free college. High school education is free. Yeah. Look how dumb everybody is. Yeah, just because you make something free doesn't, doesn't mean, mean prove it. Doesn't mean it uh, just because it's going to improve the education system. It's going to improve everybody's mind. If it's free, it's more likely to be disgustingly bad. Yeah. Great beat, man. You should just stick to stripping and rapping and drugging men and robbing them. Don't do that. Well, that's what she know, man. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. Trump 2020. <laughs> yeah. Go to officialharshtwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.